This is another how-to video. Follow our playlist on YouTube at Construction Junction. Hey everyone, if you're new to the channel, I'm Josh Hines and this is Jasmine Hines. The channel is Construction Junction. Uh, we work for Springdale Construction. So we're here today, we're just finishing up a kitchen project. We've done several items in the kitchen for a total remodel. We noticed that the homeowners wanted to take on the painting task of the kitchen and more areas in the house. So we wanted to give them some pro tips on what to do and what not to do in terms of a buying paint, in terms of uh, how to exactly apply the paint onto the wall, the way that we do it, the Springdale way. Follow us on Construction Junction, how to paint like a pro. Our first thoughts when, when it comes to uh, painting a room, uh, we, we're gonna look at the uh, existing paint and see like what color change we're, we're gonna go to. In this room, in this particular room, we're gonna paint the ceiling, we're gonna paint the walls, and we're gonna paint the trim. Um, so there's some, some prep work that's involved. When we look at a wall, like this wall here that had a darker color on it, uh, we definitely wanna put a primer on it. I know they sell paint primer out there, um, and it's a good product to, to, to buy and use, but it doesn't replace a full primer. For example, like a Kills. Kills primer in itself is gonna do a lot better job in uh, covering stains and also give you a nice base uh, for your paint coats. We're gonna look at how to prep a wall properly before you start. Uh, we're gonna start by taking all of the, the plates off, all the switch plates, all of the outlet plates. We're gonna check the baseboards to see if there's any crack in between the baseboard and the wall. And we're gonna go through and get all of that caulked. We're gonna look at the ceiling uh, at, the, at the very corner here where the wall and the ceiling meet. If it's cracking, then you can go ahead and caulk that ahead of time uh, so it's not a problem later. One thing that we want to make sure, if we are painting the ceiling, we need to cover the floor um, with drop cloths, uh, paper, uh, tarps, anything that you have that, that'll work. But you want to make sure that you cover, because the more you cover, the less you got to clean up. And that's going to save you a lot of time in there. Um, one thing that you're going to need is some, some clean rags. Uh, and a lot of times, uh, the top of the door casings or the, or the corners may have cobwebs or even dirt up the top here. Before you stop painting, you want to get up there and wipe all of that down. Uh, and also wipe any oils that you may have spilled on the wall. Just go ahead and wipe that down ahead of time. Uh, in this section, what we're going to do is, is talk about the tools that we have or that you're going to need to roll any, any room. You're going to need a good brush. All of these items can be found at Home Depot or Lowe's. The uh, brush, you, you want to get a good one. What I like to use is the two and a half inch angle brush, and you'll see why later in the video. Gloves are always good to protect your hands. You're gonna need a few rollers, a few pans, and also cups so that you can brush and make everything easier. And we also have a, a longer pole here for the ceiling and also walls. One important factor when you go to the store, get the more expensive rollers. They come in different size naps, this is a 3 8 nap. We also use half inch naps on walls. Uh, if we're doing a ceiling, like a rough ceiling that has a stucco on it, uh, you can go up a little higher in the thickness of the nap. But if you buy a good quality nap, you won't have to release the lint off of it when you first get it. Now, if you do have rollers around the house that you want to use, you still can use them. Uh, you will have to uh, apply uh, blue painter's tape on it a few times and then take it back off and allow that lint to come off before you put it on the wall. Cause if you just take it right out the package and put it on the wall, you're gonna have a lot of trash in the wall and you're gonna be back, you know, where you started. So at this point, uh, now we have the walls primed that we need primed. We have uh, everything prepped, all the caulking done. So we're ready to begin painting. Um, so what we're looking at is this, this ceiling now, which is a textured ceiling. So we want to first inspect it to see if there's any leaks, uh, see if there's any problems. If nothing is uh, wrong, then we can go ahead and start brushing in the ceiling on the edges. And then, you know, after that, go ahead with the roll. Now, keep in mind, you will need a, a bigger nap roller to get it rolled properly or else it'll be spotty. If you go with the, just the 3 8 nap, it's gonna be difficult to get the paint covers that you want. 
So here, um, when, when we're gonna brush the ceiling, in this case, we, we know that we're gonna paint the ceiling. We know that we're gonna paint the wall. What's important when you're painting the ceiling is to get a good thick coat of ceiling paint in that corner so that you can then, once it dries, come back and cut the wall in uh, properly. Um, and what that'll do is just make sure there's enough paint in that corner. So you don't wanna cut both the ceiling and the wall in tight, and then that corner doesn't have enough paint in it. At this point, just go ahead and put plenty of paint in that corner, and then you'll be able to cut the wall in easily. A good tip uh, when you're cutting in the ceiling, you also would like uh, to go back over and smooth it out, so when you go to put on the wall color, it would be a smooth transition from the ceiling to the wall. How do you put paint on the brush? Uh, you wanna make sure you have enough paint so that you can paint properly on the brush, but you gotta be able to carry it around at the same time, or else it'll take forever. Um, so what we do is just go ahead and, and dip the paint in the, in the pail and then slap it on both sides. Um, and then just keep your brush moving back and forth so that the paint don't drip off. Now you have plenty of paint on your, on your brush to now then put it on the wall. So this is a good spot to, to zoom in on here. Uh, what, what Jazz is doing now is painting the trim first. What we're gonna do is just like the ceiling, we're gonna get paint in that corner heavy and we're gonna overlap it onto the wall so that we only have to cut in the wall. We don't have to cut in the trim and the wall. So it just make it a lot easier to get done quicker. Just like the uh, casing on the door where it's also trim, and what we like to do is our first coat of trim, we like to get in that corner heavy. So again, it'll fill that, that corner in so that we just have to cut the wall in. Some might say that they like to do the walls first, but the, the way that we do it is we do that first coat of baseboard first, and then come back and, and do the wall. Keep in mind, everything will get two coats on. This is the part of the video where it's gonna get a little bit difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes easy. Wait, we're doing this this paint corner with, with no tape, and the reason why we don't use tape is because it can double or triple the time that you have on a job, and tape sometimes peel the previous coat. So if you're gonna paint the ceiling and then paint the wall, you almost need to wait a day or so so that the paint doesn't peel off that's behind the, the tape. So this way, it's just by hand, you know, it's hand-eye control. So what, what I do is get enough paint on my brush and I'll lay it out on the wall first, like so, and then I'll come back. Now, if you notice, this brush is angled, but I'll have the angled part at the back. And what I'm doing is looking at the last few bristles on the brush and I'm just controlling my arm to go straight. Now, any point in time I get uncomfortable, I just pull it down. Uh, then I can come back and smooth out all the paint that's behind it. Now, what that can do, you can create a straight line. When you're using your eyes and you're using the tip of the brush, go along and create a straight line. If you get good at this technique, you can do a lot of paint in a small amount of time. This is gonna be a good place to start the practice. What we wanna do is load paint on your brush, put the paint on the wall, and then use that paint on the wall to, uh, to, to paint next to this, this phone jack. Now the goal is to not touch the phone jack. So angle your, your brush and look, you know, press it on the wall and just pull your arm down. Uh, now if you get nervous, just pull away from it. So you wanna make sure you flip, flip the brush over. Yep, just like that. Try to get as close as you can without touching that. Yep. 
Now you can see the uh, white gap, so you can go up and try again. Just get closer and closer. That's the whole trick, that's perfect right there. Now you just work your way around that whole jack without touching it. focus here is to keep your eye on the edge of the brush, keep your eye on the bristles and the wall. That's all you're focusing on. Keep your eye on the bristles. Then you just glide your hand up. And it'll create a line that you then can follow. from the top to bottom. And then just handle it just, just like a pencil, you know, like you're writing. There you go, that was a good one, yep. All right, so now let me get you some more paint. So clean up your edge where, where it's thick. Just, you know, wipe up and down, or away from the line. Yeah. So now you're gonna go flat. So yep. now you're gonna turn your wrist uh, back to this one. Yep. Yeah, so but you just Just to smooth it. the paint out. That's it. Okay. Boom. Let me get you putting the paint on the ground. Explain it to her how you put the paint on. Okay. Go ahead, I'm recording. All right, so to, uh, to put the paint on, you just, we, we don't like paint to get all the way up into the brush because it gets messy. So we just have it down like less than half of the brush and then smack it like this. So you have enough paint on Now You just got to keep the brush moving so it doesn't drip. Okay. But now, now you could be gone.
gonna uh, show the uh, roll technique. We're gonna do the zigzag, and we're gonna just zigzag it on there first. We, we're putting it in a three foot by three foot box on the wall, uh, and this is a way to roll without streaking. Once we get that, what we'll, we'll do the zigzag is to put the paint on the wall, and then we'll go back over it to get rid of all the lines and smooth out the paint. The paint will self level itself. Just can't have any clumps or any you know edges that are that are running talk about the height um, also you, you, you want to hold the um, make sure you hold the brush flat on the wall if not you'll do this have a line like that which if you ever do that you just got to go back and roll it back out you got to make sure you got the roller flat at all times uh, you already cut in your edges so you don't have to go all the way back up there the paint will uh, match itself so you stay away from that like an inch or two just so that you don't touch the ceiling. If you touch the ceiling, you gotta do the ceiling all over again. So it's important to stay away from it. We just want to say a big thank you to Springdale Construction. Uh, Jaws and Jazz, you guys did an amazing job. We're so happy with our kitchen. Uh, me and my kids and my wife and my family, we're going to enjoy it. I can't wait to share it with the family. Have people over. It's going to be a good Thanksgiving, baby. We completely appreciate all the hard work. It looks amazing. It's a total transformation for sure. Just looking forward to our glass of wine with family and friends over here and invite everyone to this beautiful work. It was just amazing to see this kitchen go from A to B and just Josh and Jess did a great job just coming in every day working and just turning into what it is. It's beautiful. Everybody, please make sure to watch Construction Junction channel on YouTube to get any more tips on how to paint like a pro. It was fun learning how to cut and roll and it was just great overall.